Hey what's up guys in this video we're going to talk about promise chaining in javascript. So in javascript the promise chaining is a technique that is used to handle asynchronous operations sequentially. Like in example suppose we have task 1, we have task 2 and we have task 3 and these three tasks are asynchronous. Now if the result from the task 1 is used in the task 2 and if the result from the task 2 is used in the task 3 then they must execute sequentially I mean the task 1 must execute first then the task 2 and then the task 3 now because they are asynchronous we cannot just simply call them one after another and expect them to execute sequentially now to achieve that we have to use dot then chaining so we can use the dot then method and we can chain the operations and make sure they execute sequentially one after another so like an example we have one function task1 that function just returns one new promise with the resolve and reject now inside that we're gonna use the set timeout with one seconds of delay and inside we're gonna just console log task1 completed and from the promise we're gonna resolve the result1 and similarly we're gonna create another task task2 and it will take the result from the previous task and here we're gonna just console log task 2 completed and here it will resolve to the previous result multiplied by 2 so this promise is dependent on the result from the previous task similarly also we can have task 3 we're just gonna say task 3 completed and it will resolve to the previous result multiplied by 3 so here our three asynchronous tasks is completed now to execute them sequentially we must chain them by using the dot then method so first of all we're gonna call the task one and then because it will return one promise so we're gonna use dot then to chain the promise and we're gonna use the result and then we're gonna call the task two with this return result from the task one and because it will return another promise so we're gonna change this so we're gonna use the result from that task two and we're gonna call the task three with the result from the task two and then finally whenever we get the result from the task three then we're just gonna simply console log final result on the console and also to handle the error we're gonna use the cat and we're gonna take the error and we're just gonna simply console log the error message so here we are just chaining the three asynchronous tasks to make them sequentially call one after another so if we refresh that you can see first of all task one completes then the task two then task three and finally we have the result so you can see all of these asynchronous promises are executing one after another and that's only possible because of this promise chaining so hope you understand the concept we'll see you in the next one take care